Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So, why is this car still here? Why is it not sold? A lot of friends have been asking me this exact question and I want to give you an honest answer because it's still underway. Uh, the buyer is called Dario, he's Italian and he's really interested in the car. He came and looked at the car, he test drove the car and I told him about the lights on the dashboard that I hadn't shut off. It turns out that he watched my videos and I clickbaited and I said that I couldn't fix the problem even though I had spent 2,400 euros on the car this summer alone. I said that we can bring it to a mechanic. He said yes, but let's make it an impartial one. I agreed and he took it to a place called Auto Milano. Good morning, so we have an issue today. There's snow on the ground, so we're gonna take the car today. So I don't know how this is gonna go. All right, so here's the deal. The car might go for sale, but it's snowing. Uh, I have summer tires. The last time I drove my car in the winter, I crashed it. And it was snow then, and I had winter tires. And now I have summer tires. We are in good company. Here are a lot of Alfermeos. Okay, so interesting turn of events. The mechanic just called me. He hadn't called Dario, which he said he would call first. And he said that everything is fine except for the fact that I can't reset the ABS light, which another firm had actually started. It had never shown up on the dashboard before. I went to take it to the MOT. And uh, after that, it's been regularly showing on my dashboard. So I don't know. The airbag light, however, it got reset. It doesn't turn on anymore. like. It used to. Okay, so some issues currently with the car. As I said, I spent 2,400 euros trying to sort everything out last summer. I did the rust, I changed the tires, I changed the drive shaft. So the wheel alignment is a little bit off. Custom air filter is not running perfectly at all times. Sometimes it searches for revs and it dips down and the engine might die if you don't give it a little bit of gas. Nothing major. These are very easily fixable. If there's anyone who's a Fiat expert, I would gladly take your advice but the conclusion that we came to that if you don't have the proper OBD reader then it might trigger the Fiat perfect electronic wiring system in the dashboard for no reason because there are no fault codes coming up which means that it's not faulty per se but in Finland you do things a little bit differently when you buy a car you see the car you test drive the car you like the car you buy it or you don't buy it but I understand that Dario is a very thorough guy and he got a parking spot for it but I know that he's interested in buying it and he knows that these faults are fixable he just doesn't want to buy it before they're fixed if I'm gonna sell the car before the end of the year it's gonna be him or nobody the advert isn't online anymore so I would have to do everything from the top again so in conclusion, uh, I look like Zigzag from Holes, credits to you if you know it. Uh, and besides that, uh, the car is now being serviced. They're trying to check out what the lights are due to. I have a theory of my own. Every time the car is started up when the engine is cold, the lights are not apparent. But as soon as the engine heats up, the lights pop on the dashboard. So we'll see if that has anything to do with it. They told me that how, how many hours do, do I want to spend on them trying to fix the issue. I said a maximum of three hours, which means 150 euros per hour. So I hope that Dario likes this and he finds this pleasing. If they uh, call me now and say that the problem is taken care of. We're trying to remain positive here. So on a positive note, the next video I'm going to post is going to be amazing i was offered to ride in a tank but i got to drive a military truck which was exciting i got to spend a lot of time with our people who love the military and respect it and it felt like i was in the military again especially when i drove the truck that was freaking amazing uh, so that's coming up in the next video please leave a like and subscribe if you are new and that's gonna be it for today's video